welcome back guys so in previous uh, lecture or in previous video we have solved the part a b and c of this question so today we are going to solve the d e and f of uh, this question so let us start here so now in part d we have a capacitor of capacitance 10 microfarad and the frequency given with it is basically in radians okay so uh, let me go down and uh, see that the capacitance here is basically 10 microfarad and uh, the frequency here is in radians and that is 100 radians per second and from it we can very easily see that we have previously okay let me now remove it uh, we have previously seen that the expression uh, for finding the capacitive reactance is basically given here and uh, by using this expression we will find the value of uh, the capacitive reactance for this capacitor here okay so let me go down so here uh, we have seen that this is uh, part d okay and the in part d the capacitance is basically the 10 microfarad Okay. and the frequency which is basically the radians uh, frequency is the uh, I think it was the 10 radians per second or what 100 radians per second okay. so it was basically the 100 radians per second okay so what we have to do we have to find the uh, impedance and let me call it z4 and z4 is equal to the axis where axis is the j axis here and this j axis is the sorry not the j axis but that would be 1 over j omega c okay so writing values here 1 over j into 10 into 10 s power minus 5 into 100 okay so 100 is basically the 10 s power 2 so 2 multiplied by, multiplied by 10 will be 10 s power 3 so here i will get 1 over j into 10 s power uh, minus 2 because this 10 s power 3 plus uh, minus 5 will be minus 2 so here what i will get i will get here minus j divided by 10 s power minus 2 or minus j 10 s power 2 which is the minus j 100 ohm okay so that is basically the answers and we can also represent it like z4 is equal to the 0 minus j 100 so that is in the uh, rectangular uh, form here uh, similarly in order to represent it in the polar form now we can see here that this j is uh, with the negative sign here so negative sign means that in the z plane or in the complex plane the vector or the phasor we have will be here so here it will make this angle with it which is basically the minus 90 degrees okay so in order to represent uh, the capacitive reactance what we have to do if we have any impedance which is solidly composed of the uh, imaginary term in such a way that the j here is negative so in order to represent it what we can do we have, will have to represent it with the same magnitude while the angle there was minus of 90 degrees okay so that is the polar representation of the phasor here okay or the impedance here so that is z4 similarly in order to solve the part e of our question what we have to do so this is part e of our question so let me solve it here so part e we are given that c is 0 0.05 microfarad while the frequency here is 10 kilohertz okay so we can see that now instead of omega we are given the frequency 
uh, in hertz okay so what we have to do now here this is z5 and that is 1 over j omega c so 1 over j 2 pi fc putting values here what i will get so j into 2 pi and that is 10 to the power 4 because 10 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 is 10 to the power 4 and multiplying here this is a microfarad so micro is basically 10 to the power minus 6 10 to the power uh, minus 6 and these two terms so 10 to the power minus 8 so 5 into 10 to the power minus 8 here so now uh, simplifying it again z5 equal to the 1 over j so that uh, 2 multiplied by 5 is 10 okay multiplied by 10 to the power 4 into 10 to the power minus 8 so this multiplied by this will be 10 to the power uh, 5 sorry this is 10 to the power minus 8 so what i will get here that would be 1 over j and uh, 10 to the power minus 3 here okay so now again okay uh, so now let me solve it and by solving it what i will get here i will get here minus j 10 to the power my 10 to the power plus 3 so that would be the z5 equal to the j1000 okay so that is the minus j1000 so in a rectangular system what it will be this would be the z5 equal to the 0 minus j1000 or z5 will be equal to in the polar uh, form it will be the 1000 and angle would be minus 90 degrees that is also in ohm that is also in ohm and that is the answer of my part e here okay similarly now the last part here and here we have to find the value of the impedance when the uh, frequency here is 157 radians per second so here the impedance z6 will be equal to the 220 ohm because the resist resistor is the linear quantity which uh, doesn't have any association with the frequency so whatever the frequency will be the resistance will not be affected by that frequency okay because that is the linear element and no frequency will affect or this linear element therefore it will be the same as uh, it is and no j term will appear here and therefore no phase change will occur uh, one current and voltage will be developed here so z6 will be 220 uh, ohm or in the rectangular format it will be 220 plus j0 or it will be 220 and the angle here will be 0 degrees okay so that is the z here as well okay uh, so uh, that is the end of question one of our book so with some more questions i will see you in our upcoming lecture thank you so much